love sunshine down on my body fill me with energy give me light here i surrender to your the big thing power. of the aquarius festival was to realize that we could overcome war itself but that left us with the responsibility how do we build peace angel of air i will go where you send me follow on the wind that you send me to breathe i have no question of your direction like the rustle of the leaves for you i am free I'm Paul Joseph. Uh, I was a Newcastle boy that uh, went to the big smoke to uh, make my way in the world. The 60s were a very challenging period for young people to grow up in a world which was completely at threat. You know, we were faced uh, as young men with conscription and being forced to go and fight off America's war in Vietnam. And we were also uh, in fear of the destruction of the whole planet from nuclear war because um, America and, and Russia were engaged in the mad treaty, mutually assured destruction. And that's what we thought was ahead for all of us. I got involved in the moratorium movement against conscription and against the Vietnam War. And my life changed on one day in Kent Street where um, it was a huge moratorium rally of maybe 5,000 people uh, all gathered together and I was one of a few folk singers on the back of a truck. We moved off uh, after singing through this sea of smiling, waving, peace-loving people ready to march down the street. And as our truck got around the corner, this phalanx of police formed a wedge and drove straight into this crowd with you know batons flailing and blood everywhere and people going down in the street. And to me, it was um, an absolutely shocking experience. As a young person, I always thought that the police were there to protect us. But here I saw the authorities of power and protection actually turning on the most peaceful of people, of young people and uh, it devastated me and uh, I left the city very soon after. I landed in uh, Mullumbimby with a group of people uh, to set up a, a community there. One night in the middle of the night there's a knock on the door and here's these three people from Australian Union of Students saying hey we're here to um, start a festival will you uh, help us get a festival going in this area. We want to show the rest of Australia what, um, what this Back to the Land movement's all about. He said, uh, look, there's this dead town I've seen on TV up in uh, near you called Nimbin. Um, it's a ghost town. Why don't we you know, do something really significant and recycle a town? We did a deal with uh, the Nimbin Progress Association uh, that we could host the festival in the paddocks around the town and use the facilities of the town and we were able to buy uh, on behalf of AUS in the first instance uh, three buildings. Here we were in the middle of this town that uh, was welcoming us uh, young hippie people uh, to have this big festival and uh, we owned half the town. Then of course the ideas of the festival were very unique um, in that um, we had no stars and uh, we had no program. The, we, in fact, uh, the whole idea was that everyone was an artist and you come to this festival to share, not to consume. And that was the basis of what we saw was what was needed in the world, to change this idea of consuming culture and begin to create culture. The highlight for me of the Aquarius Festival and, and one of the highlights of my life as a musician is uh, an experience of, of this morning when we all uh, sang together this song, May the Long Time Sun Shine Upon You. People dancing and singing together in the dust and the early morning and beautiful experience but the song went on and there was this period where I thought, gee, it would be great if the song changed, you know, it'd be great if there was some way but something happened. There was this magic little point of silence that this whole crowd of people came to, this magic moment of silence that allowed us to start a whole new song, which was a terrific thing. But to my, my thinking, that magic moment was that real connection between humanity that has been so rare in my life, but it's something I'd love to experience again. 
I think the real legacy of the Aquarius Festival and the 40 years of developing this culture uh, one, our relationships with the Indigenous people. In the lead up to the Aquarius Festival, we learned that um, the area was taboo for women in the Aboriginal tradition, and uh, we didn't understand what that meant. So we thought we should try and find um, the elders or somebody who could lift this spell, at least for that time, or something. We were so naive, we didn't know. And we were very lucky to meet some of the last surviving initiated elders, uh, particularly one old songman who, was, uh, who came and did a welcome to country. And that was probably the first welcome to country for white people in this uh, history of this place. I feel pretty proud that it was most likely the first time white people had gone and asked permission and paid respect to Aboriginal people for the use of the land. The second thing was our uh, application of land sharing. Following the uh, Aquarius Festival, I became like a hippie real estate salesman and traveled around the country selling shares in our cooperative community at Tuttable Falls for $200 a share. But we were illegal and Lismore Council, when they got control, uh, decided they'd bulldoze our houses. So we and a whole lot of other people who'd moved to the area joined forces and formed the Home Builders Association, which we lobbied government and uh, media and put our case. And uh, ultimately, the state government declared the law of multiple occupancy for the whole state. So it was a great outcome for us, but a great outcome for our whole society. And the third legacy is our commitment to the environment. Terrania was the first ever successful battle to protect rainforest in the history of the world. When we saw the problems with the forest being logged to extinction, we stood up to protect that. Although it was against the law, our generation saw the great benefit and value in social disobedience as a way of initiating or instigating change in our society. It's now proven to be the right approach, a brave approach. What we need today is more bravery in young people or people of all ages to stand up against uh, the problems that are fronting us now. Because if we don't, they will overcome us. And it is our responsibility. If we see something to be done, we've got to do it. Yeah, my hope for the future is that uh, people will recognise the great values of community that uh, have been grown here in this region, where people can um, enjoy their lives not with a, a shallow wealth but a great deep wealth which uh, is about having a comfortable place to be, uh, enough food to keep you satisfied, uh, warm in the winter and cool in the summer and uh, having a lot of fun with your neighbours and community because that's what it's really about is this uh, the common thread that holds us all in this planet is love. sunshine down on my body fill me with energy give me light